<laughs> dun, dun, dun. Very nice, my friends. Guys, thank you so much for training. This is, uh, we talk about it a lot, but this is the highlight of my day. I say it a lot because it's that special to us. We talk about this a lot. This is it's so good to see all our family, see us all doing what we love to do together. Uh, let's turn the volume down on life for a little bit, get back into our rhythms, our routines. Uh, we'll come out of these trainings ready to take on whatever we got to do, right? Now, let's warm up. This is an all levels class, so the warm up is going to be just jujitsu specific techniques, guys. We'll probably get on the floor first. We'll do some. Get a little sweat. You want to get a little sweat, Pearl Belt? No, I'm good. Yeah, Pearl Belt's not doing more of us no more, right? Come on, Pearl Belts. Guys, right? we'll bow in. Thank you for training. And everybody have a seat. <laughs> Perfect. All right, so I'm going to, there we go. Make sure you can see. Hey. All right, so let's start off with some nice, easy triangle work. Nothing crazy, let's not warm up those hips too fast. We're just gonna get some rocking going. Triangles, ready, and work time. Not going quick, we're just loosening up that back a bit. As you get warm, start picking those hips up off the floor. Perfect. Couple more reps, guys. I'm gonna stop eating snacks. <laughs> nice. And let's go shrimping in place. Shrimping in place. We'll get both sides. Work time. Remember, you're not going fast. We're just warming up. Perfect. <laughs> <Don't move my> <laughs> Nice rhythm, get that breathing right. Get those snacks adjusted. Oh, God. Good word, my friends. Let's go Kimuras. Kimura sit-ups, we'll all start on that right side. And work time. You're getting a little warmer. Your pace is picking up a bit. Make sure your breathing does as well. Ten more seconds. Perfect. And we'll all turtle. Let's come to our hands and knees. You're warm now, right? Let's get into some hard stuff. We're going to go sit outs, right? So maybe you're not super familiar with the sit out, no worries. You're on your hands, you're on your toes. When I pick up my right hand, my left leg is going to shoot the gap and extend. Now, I'm totally okay if you want to have a seat while you do it, but if this is something you've had some experience with, let's try to keep our hips up. My right hand is going to go elbow to hip. And I'm going to look straight up at the ceiling because I want to keep my back nice and straight. I'll come back into the start position, and now we'll go to the other side. Left hand will pick up. Right leg will shoot the gap between my hand and foot. I'll look up straight at the ceiling, elbow to hip, rinse and repeat. Everybody feel good? Thumbs up. All right, here we go. Sit out. It's work time. Sliding through, looking straight up at the ceiling. You're already warm. So this is easy peasy. Perfect. 10 seconds. Get three more reps. One, two, last one. Nice. Whew. Shake out those hands a little bit. Good work, my friends. Let's get right into our flow. Now, if you have a partner, junior student, go ahead and lay down. If you're using a key dummy, you're just going to do all the reps. That's a positive. You'd be all right. Now, maybe you just have a pillow. 
totally fine. We're just working the motor patterns, guys. So don't get too stuck on the grips. Let's stay focused on the movements. Now, we're gonna start off with the same passing series that we've been working all week, but we're gonna do it all at once today. All right, so if you haven't been in class, no worries, but you're gonna see quite a bit of jiu-jitsu here. Everybody else, man, you know this. You've been working it. Take your time. It's all gonna to click together, all right? First, we're gonna toy out to pass. Disconnect, shuffle to the right. As we push their legs out of the way, my right knee drops, my right shoulder drops, and I want to come to side control, but my partner's going to push my head to the same side as the pass. So now she's kind of negated my ability to hold her down. So we're going to post our right hand, same side as my head, pick up our hips. Now you might float, you might walk, doesn't matter. Get to the other side. From here, guys, let's secure the side control. Remember, we've been working a knee on belly around the world. So let's get our knee on belly grips. Grip behind the neck, in the collar. I like my thumb in the collar, my knuckles on the floor. Our hand on the belly side. Hip grip. Remember, no open elbows, or they're going to go into that spider bar recovery. Close the elbow. So when I go, I'm here chest to chest. I get my grip, elbow down, hop up to knee on belly. Now with our knee on belly, if you're with a partner, they're gonna get our, on their side and start to escape. We're gonna push their head down, step over and trap that shoulder with our left leg, trying to keep our partner on their side so we can back step, knee on belly on the other side. Now, let's go to our arm bar. Remember, open the collar, four fingers in, we're threatening the choke. When they defend the choke is how we get the near side sleeve. We're going to pull up. Our left hand is going to kick him in the armpit. Our right leg is going to walk over the head. Sit down. Remember, if you're with a partner, let them connect their hands so we don't fall down on their elbow. Scoop up the arm. Grab my own collar. Scoop up the leg. Fall towards their legs. And finish our bar. I'm gonna go the whole round. So then my partner will get their reps after we switch, okay? So Beth is gonna work on the dummy while I watch everybody else. If you get lost, let's just look up and follow Beth. All right, my friends? Anybody have any questions? Should be getting familiar. This is a flow we've been working now. We're just putting it all together at once. Everybody ready? No questions? All right, on three, one, two. Very nice. Here we go, Toriando pass. From the Toriando, hop over to the other side. Nice. Secure side control, knee on belly. Knee on belly is going to spin us around the head. Knee on belly on the other side. Nice. With knee on belly on the other side, we're going to get collar grip on the near side, threaten the choke. Perfect. We're going to grab that near side arm, pull it to the ceiling, kick him in the armpit with our knee on belly leg, sit down on our arm bar, finish. We'll hop up, run it again. Toriando pass. Perfect. From the pass, notice how Beth's going to put her head on the floor. She's going to hop over to the other side control. Now she's going to get knee on belly. She's going to spin the world to the other side. And on the other side, knee on belly, open the collar, sleeve grip, pull it to the ceiling, arm bar. Very nice. All right, we'll write again. Remember, you're going the whole time. Your partner will get their turns. First, it's the Toriando pass. From the pass, we're going to move our head to the same side as our knees and hop over. Side control on the other side. Secure knee on belly. Around the world, knee on belly on the other side. Perfect. Now we'll go choke, arm bar, ready to sit down and finish. Very nice, my friends. Perfect. 
Steve, you're like a cool movie, bro. You're like in and out of the backgrounds. This is amazing. Keep going, my friends. You got 90 seconds here. Dang, very nice. Good work. Good work, Kirk Leslie. Nice movement, my friends. Very nice. There we go, Rich Toriando. From Toriando, we're going to hop side control to the other side. Then we're going to set up our knee on belly. We're going to spin the world, push their head down, knee on belly on the other side. Nice. Here comes our near side arm bar by opening with the choke. When they defend the choke, we end up in the arm bar. Nice. And time. Time, my friends. Okay, so catch our breath for a second. Your partner is going to get their rep. So they're going to switch bottom to top if you're with your partner. If you're with a dummy, then you're going to get to go again. So extra reps, which is awesome. Good for you. So breathe it out. My junior students, before you go, walk through this rep with Beth and I. We're going to talk Beth through this one. So we'll go really slow. Make sure everyone's on the same page. First, Beth is going to get the pants grips. Tori Hondo. She shuffles to the right. Right shoulder down, so really slow. There she goes. Now she's gonna move her head to the other side of side, oh, where her knees are. Notice how she's all on one side here. She's gonna use her head as a post, and she's gonna hop to the other side. Very nice. And now on the other side, we're gonna set up our side control. Perfect. Inside control, we're gonna go knee on belly. Collar grip, hip grip, hop up. Now notice how Beth is gonna push the dummy's head down because she's gonna step over the head, knee to chest, swim to knee on belly on the other side. Perfect. Now from here, we're gonna open up the collar to set the choke, grab that near side sleeve, pull it to the ceiling. That's gonna allow Beth to kick her left shin into the armpit of her partner, throw her right leg over the head, sit down on that arm bar. Pinch those knees and finish. Legs go to legs and we'll run it again. Are you ready, junior students? And work time. Here we go. First, Toriando pass. From the pass, put our head to the floor on the same side as our knees so we can hop over. There we go, Professor Anita. Yes, head down, hop over. Yes. And now here we'll go knee on belly. Perfect. Knee on belly, we'll push their head down, throw our leg over the head, and spin to knee on belly on the other side. Nice. And then we'll set up the choke. They'll defend, we'll grab that arm, pull it to the ceiling, kick them in the armpit, knee on belly. Very nice arm bar. Good work, good work. We'll hop back up, we'll run it again. Toriando pass. Remember, if your partner doesn't have pants, just hands on the floor. Shuffle to the right, shoulder down, Toriando. Bring our head to the same side as our knees, hop over to the other side. Yes. Here comes our knee on belly. Push the head down, spin the world in your knee on belly to get to the other side. Here we'll set up the choke. This will give us the arm lock. Shin in the armpit, step over the head, arm bar city. Very nice, my friends. Good work, youngin. Yep, all the way up to knee on belly. Yes, give dad the smush. Let's push dad's head down, step over, spin to the other side. Ooh, yeah, 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 right shin down. Yes, very nice, youngin. Okay, now let's choke him. Show him the collar choke, he's gotta defend. Let's attack his hand he's defending with. Shin in the armpit, step over the head. Nice, youngin. Now don't break dad's arm, be gentle here. We're gonna sit down, keep the elbow. Yes, here we go. Finish, extend that arm, take it home. But not really, because dad's home with you, so be careful, youngin. Gee, what's up, man? How are you, buddy? Good to see you. Nice work, my friends. Keep that rhythm. You're trying not to take that break. Breathe through. Slow down if you need to. Try not to stop moving. Good work, Tagger. Right back up, buddy. I like that teddy bear, man. Show him the jiu-jitsu. Very nice. Spin, spin, spin. Hey, good work, my friends. We'll catch our breath. 
Nice job, Purple Belt. Sucky Steve. Oh, no, Sucky Steve. Graceful middle name. Sucky Steve wants to stay together. Oh my God, I gotta put my geese guts back in. Everybody get to be ready. Take a break. Catch your breath. Eyes up. Hey, Professor, quick question. Yeah, man. Like when you're kind of doing the around the world thing, does it matter which direction you push their head? Yeah, so I like to get their head out of the way. So I will try to push their head to the floor. Okay. One, it helps me know where they are, right? There's not a lot of movement from, their, from them. And two, it helps me get their post, which is their head, out of the way so I can step around. Does that so, make sense? All right, I'm going to go on that though again. Yeah. All right, perfect. Guys, nice. so let's get into our back attacks. So if you're... Senior student, go ahead and take the back. If you have a knee dummy, go ahead and get behind him. Perfect. Perfect. Now, remember, oh, my belt came undone. That's fine. When we're on this back attack, I'm going to try really hard to do a couple things before we ever start choking. One, I'm going to try to get that seat belt grip. Right? I want an arm over the shoulder, an arm in the armpit. So everybody, let's go ahead and mirror what we're doing here. My right hand's over the shoulder, left hand's under the armpit. I'm going to hide my right wrist. So left hand over that right wrist. Remember we talked about stirring that mac and cheese? I need that thumb in that right hand to go right to their chest. There we go. Because we're going to take that thumb and we're going to dig into their sternum a little bit. I'm not trying to hurt them. I'm trying to find the collar. We get my thumb in the lapel and grab that lapel all underneath my left hand. So I'm here, but I'm gonna show you without my left hand. Thumb right in the sternum. Take that left, take that right thumb and dig it into the jacket. Now I'll secure this grip to the lapel. All of this is going on under our left hand. Once I'm secure, I don't go for the choke, I get ready for the ride, right? So we'll say we just took our partners back we know they're going to try to escape, right? There ain't nobody trying to lay down for us. So we're going to secure chin over the shoulder. Get that ear-to-ear -ear pressure. Now remember, we're going to take our hands and pull them towards our face, towards our neck. Notice how that gets your partner to start to lean a little bit. It makes us very secure in our chest-to-back pressure. So if my partner wants to escape, the only way is by walking their legs off the hooks, right? They can't get these grips off. We're not gonna let go. I'm gonna put my hooks in, see how long my dummy stays together, and then I'll grab that. All right, senior student, fall to the right side. Perfect. Now, my partner is gonna walk off my bottom hook. So my right leg, we're gonna say it's a little bit too low, and our partner's gonna start like they're about to pass, right? Like the dummy's laying on our bottom leg. So we're gonna take out our left hook, bring our left knee behind the back. Guys, no knee to ceiling. This is too hard on my hips. I won't be strong enough to move them. Take that knee and point it down. So my hips are facing the same direction. So when this knee comes, it can really push. And as it pushes, my right leg's gonna pull back. Like I'm going to try to sprawl belly to the mat. Now I put my toes in the floor and notice my right elbow, it's in the mat. I'm going to push my weight onto that elbow. And now with my elbow holding my weight, I'm going to slide my right knee all the way to my right elbow. Step my left leg over. And now we're going to pull that right elbow off the floor and put it in our hip. Very nice because from here, I'll be able to chair sit and take the back. Remember, we're gonna take our right foot, that foot that you're sitting on, we're gonna curl it to their back. So lay it right up against your knee dummy's butt. So when your hips roll over your heel, they hit the floor. Now remember, keep that right elbow in your hip because we don't want them to slide off our legs. We're not even gonna lay straight back. Instead, we're gonna to switch to our left hip. Notice how that starts to pull them with you. Your right knee goes to the ceiling. 
And when we fall to our left side, check out how that left leg's all the way across their belly. We could go body triangles if you got the long legs. You might just go, I prefer, honestly, taking my top hook and just setting it on my left foot. Because I anticipate that this person is going to try to stop the choke. But first, let's choke. All right, ready? Right hand It's going to walk up the collars, find the grip. My left hand stayed on top the whole time to hide what my right hand's doing. I don't want to give up wrist control because then they defend. Once I have the grip, my left hand can let go, falls to the lower lapel on the other side. Now we're ready to choke. I recommend that as soon as you start to put pressure on, you're going to feel your partner reach, take this top leg over, and hook that shoulder. Now I can either bring that foot behind the back, or I can cross my ankles on the belly. I just don't want them to have that top arm while we finish with our choke. Now, from here, senior students, if you remember this position, you can add in the triangle. Remember that your partner's going to try to slide down on the choke. So as they slide away, trying to pop this elbow over their head, we're going to take our feet, we're going to fall to the other side. When I'm on my right side, my left hand can grab my top hook. I'm just talking to the senior students. Don't worry if this feels a little advanced for you. My left leg is going to curl around my right hook, setting up the back triangle. Now from here, I'll go secure the arm, finish with the arm bar in the back triangle. So I'm going to grab my partner, senior student. Let's do it again. Perfect. If you're on your dummy, go ahead and reposition. We're on the back. First, seat belt. Right arm over the shoulder. Left arm over our right wrist. Right thumb in the collar. Now let's pull those hands to our face. Let's fall to the choking side. Nice. Now on the choking side, my partner's going to walk off my bottom hook. So I keep my chin on the shoulder. I bring that left leg, my top hook out. I point my knee down, and I bring that knee right behind her butt. I may not be able to move her, but I can hold her in place while I pull my right leg out from underneath her. Like we're gonna go belly to mat. Very nice. Now feel how your right elbow is still on the floor. You're gonna walk your weight onto that right elbow. Slide that right knee to your right elbow. Let's walk our left leg over the hips, right to the belly button. Pull that right elbow to your hip bone. Now I'm going to be able to sit to my butt, but they're going to stay in my lap because my elbow is nice and high in my hip. Let's fall to our left side. And now we're ready to attack from the underhook side of the back. Find the choke. Your right hand should have been on the lapel the whole time. Walk, 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 nice and high. Left hand finds the cross lapel, nice and low. Finish. Your partner might try to defend. Throw your leg up, trap their arm. Finish. If they start to slide away and you feel like they're getting to the floor, switch your legs, bring your right leg over the belly, curl it under the armpit, take my left leg, curl it around my right ankle. Here's our triangle. Remember, you can bring this arm to you, bring their knuckles to your chest. Now when you hit in, it's like a shoulder lock, arm bar, triangle combo. That three piece. All right. That's going to do the same thing. She's going to work on the dummy. I'm going to watch you, and we're going to work through this together. Remember, senior student's going to go first. They'll get all the reps, and then the junior student's turn. Everybody feel good? Questions? Hands up, you got questions? All right, here we go on three, guys. One, two. Very nice. All right, here we go. Best on stuffy buddy's back. We're going to fall to the choking side. Our partner is going to walk off our bottom hook. Perfect. We're going to take our top hook, knee him in the butt, slide our bottom hook out from underneath them, go belly down. All your weight on their elbow. Walk your knee to your elbow. Throw your other leg across the waist. And now let's sit our 
to our hip, rotate to our other hip. Now we're on the underhook side of the back. Nice. Let's set up our choke game from here. As you start to choke, they're probably gonna wanna use their top arm, hook it with your leg. Cross those ankles, we're ready to rock and roll. Now, if you decide to go for the triangle because they're sliding away, bring that, that's using her, bring your right leg over the shoulder. Yeah, let go of that leg and go get the other leg. Fall to your right side. Curl your right leg around the neck. Close the triangle and now bring that arm to your chest. Finish with that arm bar shoulder lock triangle combo. Very nice. Reset. We're back on the back. Perfect. Yeah, good work, Steve. Very nice, buddy. Fall to the choking side. Bump them off as they slide off your bottom hook. Yeah. So Steve lost his legs. Post your elbow, slide your knee to your elbow, bring your other leg over the waist, you're in the chair sit. From the chair sit, fall to your other hip. Bring them to the underhook side. Here comes our choke game. From the chokes, we'll trap the arm and finish again. If you want, switch your hips, grab that other leg. Yep, your, let's see, your leg that's over the shoulder. It's gonna crisscross their chest. You're gonna take your outside leg, hook the ankle, triangle from the back. Very nice, very nice. Sitting back up. One more rep, senior student. One more rep, you're on the back. They fall to the choking side. They slide off our bottom hook, bump them in the butt, and slide your knee to your elbow. Step over the waist, bring your elbow to your hip, chair sit to the other side. Very nice, Heather. Yes, hook the arms, here comes our chokes. If you want, switch to your right hip, Heather. Yep, right hip, switch to your right side, yes. There's where the triangle exposure will come. Find the arm, triangle city. Perfect. All right, my friends, good work, good work, let's switch. Junior students turn. If you're using the dummy, you're gonna go again. This time I'm gonna go so you can watch one more time. We'll go really slow. Let's walk through it together, junior student. First, harness grip. Go get that thumb in the lapel of your right hand, get a grip. Then get your left hand over your right hand. Chin to shoulder. Let's fall to the choking side. Our partner's gonna walk off the bottom hook. Take that top hook out. Bring it knee to floor, and then bump them in the butt. Don't kick them, just give them a little push. Your right leg's gonna fall out like you're gonna go belt to floor. Toes in the mat, because you're gonna start putting weight on that right elbow. You feel it, it's already holding you up a little bit. Go ahead and let it hold you up a lot. Slide that right knee to your elbow. So your left leg over the belly. Now bring that right elbow to your hip. From here, take that right foot, tuck it to their back. Because you're gonna set your right hip down. And now you're gonna switch to your left hip and fall to your left side. Perfect. Notice how my left leg is all the way across this belly. Right, so now we're into a nice position where we can attack with a whole gang of attacks. Let's show her the choke. Walk the right hand high, walk the left hand low to the cross lapel. And here we can finish many times. But sometimes she'll get her hand in here and get in the way. So we'll take that top hook. For us, it's our right leg. Step on her forearm, kick it down. Now when I cross my ankles, she doesn't get to use that hand at all. I can go back into the choke. Now, senior students or whoever's going right now, if you want, if you remember the triangle, you can totally go for it. It's really easy here. Our partner's gonna help us a little bit, or the e dummy we just push away. Notice how that's starting to slide down. When my right leg, and this is how I know, when I'm doing this attack, can you sit back up? And I'm, in the, I'm going for the finish, I hook the arm. If I'm on their bicep with my right leg, I stay on the choke. 
If I feel them slide now to the point that my right leg ends up over their shoulder, see how that right thigh is not on her arm at all now? It's up on her shoulder. This is my cue to switch to the triangle. The choke is too far away. Her head's about to pop out from underneath. It's time to transition. So my left foot's going to step on the hip. My left hand's going to let go of the lapel and grab my right shin. As it does that, I'm going to switch to my right side. Notice how when we switch to our right elbow, it puts our right ankle pointed to the ceiling. Now my left leg can come off, curl my right ankle. I like to hide that left foot behind. We're into the back triangle. Sometimes we'll get the tap from here. Sometimes we'll need to go grab their arm, pull it to our belly, and now hip in for the finish. I'll come off, reset, I'm back on the back, and we'll run it again. That's gonna run on stuffy speed. My tight is now. And then we're gonna keep getting our reps. If you're with the gi dummy, you're gonna go the whole time. If you're with a partner, it's the junior student's turn. Everybody ready? Ooh, I see you working early, but you gotta clap. Don't, don't cut my claps out. On three, one, two. Very nice, here we go. Back mount. Catch your grip first in the seatbelt. Fall to the choking side. So on the choking side, our partner jumps off. We're gonna let them slide off that bottom hook, bump them in the butt, go belly down. From belly down, bring that right knee to your elbow. Bring your left leg over their belly. Perfect. Sit down to the chair, sit. We should be on the underhook side now. Perfect. Now from the underhook side, you're gonna start the choke. Let that right hand climb, let that left hand slide low, cross collar choke from the back. If you feel your partner trying to defend, take that right leg, your top leg, hook their elbow, their bicep, cross your ankles. Now they don't get to defend with that arm. If you feel them sliding away, switch to your other side. Your left hand will grab your right ankle, set up your triangle from the back. Grab the arm, bring it with you, finish for the arm lock slash triangle. Perfect, here we go, we're right back on it. Onto the back, fall to the choking side, so the side that's over the shoulder. Your partner's gonna slide off, we're gonna bump them in the butt. Sit up into the chair, sit. So we can reset the back take. Throw the leg over the belly, fall to your left hip, and now we're ready to rock and roll. Your leg should be across the stomach. Your free leg stepping on your ankle if you can't fit the triangle. Now here we go, we're gonna show the choke. Walk the hand high, find the cross lapel and finish. If they try to fight the hands, throw your leg over the bicep, trap their arm with your feet, finish. If they start sliding away, switch to your other side, attack the back triangle. Very nice. No escapes, my friend. It's like water running downhill. If we get to the back mount, there is no way out except the tap. Like that's the mentality I want for our fighters. We are going to finish if we get the back. So they can show defenses, but it's just gonna run them into other submissions. Systematize our back attacks. Good work, good work, fall to the choking side. Nice. They defend by sliding off the bottom hook. So we switch our hips. Bump them off, bring our knee to our elbow, and we're ready for the chair sit. Nice, nice, good work, youngin. Hey, there we go, Steve, good belly down. Knee to elbow, throw the left leg over. Reset the chair, sit to the back. On the other side, very nice. Underhook side, we'll finish. Hey, there we go. Walches, very nice. Yep, now we'll switch to our left side to attack the triangle. Mm, making it work, I feel you. Nice, Thomas. Hey, there we go, Nikki, perfect. Let's see the whole flow, Nikki. She jumps off. Nice, so we let her slide off. Reset the chair, knee to elbow. Throw that left leg over. Nice, sit our right hip, switch to our left hip. Hey, leg across the belly. Very nice, Nikki. All right, let's show her the chokes. 
When she defends, we'll throw that leg over. Yes, we can finish again, or we'll switch to our right hip, set up our triangle from the back. Very nice, Purple Bells. Good work. There we go, the whole rep, the whole rep. Nice work, my friends. How's it feel, Steve? You guys okay? She just choked the crap out of me. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Good work. Keep going, guys. Give me two more reps. Two more reps, and then we're going to put it all together. Nice, Taggart. Good work, Quan. Super sticky, buddy. Yes. We want to be so tight on the upper body, guys. The only thing that they should be able to feel like they can move is their legs. But notice how moving their legs doesn't get rid of us. It just puts us right back on the back, but in even better position. Very nice. There we go, Sean. Get choked, buddy. Yes. Extend those arms. Put them down. Hey, very nice. Hey, very nice, Coach Nick. Bump, perfect. Need an elbow, yes. Good work, Coach. Super smooth, my friend. Hey, triangles from the back. Okay, guys, let's put it all together. Let's put it all together. I'm going to talk as Beth walks through it. Senior students, go ahead and stand up, get ready. It's gonna be your turn first. Junior student, you're the partner. Go ahead and have a seat. Lay down. Yeah. Okay. All right, so from feet to floor, here we go. It starts with the Toriando. Stay with us, guys. Let's go, Toriando. And now I'm going to club Beth in the head and get rid of her. So she's going to have pause. She has her head on the same side as her legs. She's going to jump to the other side to chase that back exposure that I just gave up trying to stop the pass. I'm gonna turn and face her. She's gonna to go to side control. She's gonna secure the far side pin. And then she's gonna get her knee on belly grips. From knee on belly, here we go. Stick with her, make sure you're in that knee on belly. From here, I'm gonna to try to escape. She's gonna push, whoa, whoa, whoa. She's gonna push my head down. Step over and knee on belly on the other side. When I turn to face, she's gonna to start to choke. I'm afraid of the choke, so I defend. Giving up my arm. Notice how Beth's gonna kick me in the armpit. Now she's gonna walk the leg. Now, off. guys, before you sit down, let your partner connect their hands so we don't hurt their elbow as we lay back. She walks over, she sits back. Now from here, we're not gonna finish the arm, guys. Look, a little less pressure from the back. From here. Beth is gonna take her right leg and throw it over our chest. So everybody take that leg out of the armpit, put it across the chest. Now, Beth's gonna get two grips on the collar, and then she's gonna take her leg off my face. Notice how that grip on the collar, she's gonna use it as a big pull. She's gonna to fall to her right side, pulling me into the back now. Now, for sure, if we weren't drilling, she could go ahead and attack from that side. But because we're working on something, we're gonna come sit up, we're gonna to get to that original start on the back. Notice her right hand has a grip on the collar, her left hand is over her right hand to protect the grip. I'm gonna to try to defend, but she's gonna to fall to the choking side. From here, I'm gonna walk off her bottom hook. She's gonna bump me in the butt, go belly down, and then walk her knee to her elbow, just like we've been working. Step the left leg over, Pull her right elbow to her hip. Pause. Guys, notice how, let's go ahead and put your elbow on the floor. Notice the difference in my voice. Notice the difference in my alignment, my cervical to my thoracic, right? Like I'm kind of straight now. When she pulls her elbow into her hip, notice how my voice goes to shit and I'm all bent now. It's much more difficult for me to navigate this position because my spine's out of alignment. Here's where she's gonna set her right hip down to her left hip to the underhook side. All right, so 
show us the choke. She's gonna walk the hand high, cross grip. I try to defend, she steps on the bicep. Here's her choke again. Now, if I'm really tough, I'm gonna try to slide away, like between the legs. So notice how her legs start to end up on my shoulder instead of my bicep. So your low grip, your grip that's under the armpit is gonna grab that ankle. You're gonna put your other foot on the floor and push us to the other side. Because now if your foot pointed high, triangle city. Now, go ahead and lock it up. If they don't tap, grab the arm, bring it to you, finish. Everybody feel good with the whole chain? It's a lot of jujitsu, right? But it, you've been working on it. And this, to me, guys, is the, the magic about jujitsu. We say these words as if they're permanent or static positions. Jujitsu is a constantly moving, dynamic entity. So when I say pass the guard, I never am implying, I'm trying not to imply, just pass the side control. That's not realistic, right? You got to pass the guard to get to the back right? All roads lead to the back. So no matter what we're doing, we're keeping that overall intention in mind. I'm going to get to the back. So senior student, you're going to go the first round, Toriando all the way to the back with a chair sit reset to where we end up in the triangle on the back. Some fancy jujitsu guys. Questions? All right, here we go. Let's clap it out on three. One, two. Very nice. Here you go, Stubby Steve. Professor Alex, it. sorry, it's it's Nikki. I was just wondering, from the arm bar when you don't get it, can you go over that grip one more time? The two, like, collar on the yeah, side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you, will you get into the position? I will talk you through it while everybody else works. Keep going, guys. Let's go. Get your reps. So, go ahead and hop in there, Nikki. I'll get you started. You're a knee on belly. You get to the arm bar. Perfect. You sit back on the arm bar. Nice. Okay, so let's throw our right leg over. Nice. Now, your right hand's still pretty deep on the collar, yeah? Now, let's take our left hand and stack it right on top of our right hand grip. So it's going to go in and get the lapel grip as well, reach between our legs, stack it right on top of the right hand, like you're holding a baseball bat. There we go. Yeah, now your left leg will fall off. You'll fall to your right side and pull Jin across all the way to the back. Yeah, not bad, not bad. And now let's reset. We'll have her sit up. And then this is where we'll start our attacks. Perfect. Back to work, guys. Back to work. Keep going. Senior student this whole time. Pass the guard. Hop to the other side. Knee on belly. Spin the world. Arm bar. Attack the back from the arm bar. Run it again. Here we go. We're falling to the choking side. They hop off. We reset with the chair sit. From the chair sit, we attack the underhook side, cross collar choke, ending with that triangle when they try to slide away. Nice, Steve. Yes, fall to our right side. Left leg will hook the ankle. Triangle city. Grab that arm if you need it. Arm bar. Very nice. Very nice. There we go, Soro family. Good work. Yes, armbar city. From the armbar, we'll attack the back. And let's switch. Bottom to top. Bottom to top. Other person's turn. The whole chain. Here we go. First, Toriando. Nice. From the Toriando. Bring our head to the same side, hop over. Nice. Let's go knee on belly. From knee on belly, let's push their head down, spin the world over their head, end up in knee on belly on the other side. Nice, young in. Here we go. Grab the grip. Let's start the choke. When they see the choke, they're going to defend. We're going to grab their arm, pull it to the ceiling, kick them in the armpit, start the arm bar. They're going to grip up. They're going to defend the arm bar. So we're going to take both hands to the collar. We're going to take our leg off the head, fall to our side, and pull them up, swing into their back. There you go. So take that left leg off Steve's head. Yep. Left leg off. 
Yes. Now let's fall to the right side. Pull Steve up and take the back. Very nice. All right, here we go. Once we have our harness grip, let's fall to the choking side. From the choking side, our partner's gonna slide off our bottom hook. So we bump them in the butt. Reset to the chair sit. Bring our elbow to the mat, post our elbow, slide our knee to our elbow, pull our elbow to our hip. Nice, youngin. And this will set us on the back on the underhook side. We can attack the same chokes. We might even slide into the triangle on the back. Very nice. Get choked, Josh. Hey, good work, young and Grab that arm if you need it. Pull his knuckles to your chest. Yep, that arm that's caught in the triangle. Pull it to you. Yes. There we go. Arm lock, arm lock. Nice, Molly. Good reset. Need an elbow. Throw it over. Hey, to the underhook side. Right to the choke. Trap their arm with your top leg. If they're getting fancy, we're gonna switch sides, attack the triangle. Yes. Back triangle for the win, my friends. Good work. Very nice jiu-jitsu. One more rep. One more rep. Nice work, Professor Anita. Hey. Yeah, you're doing great, my friend. Hopping over. Yes. Knee on belly. Perfect. Spin the world. Very nice. We will start our choke game. This will give us the arm bar, but we won't attack the arm bar. We'll just throw that leg over the chest and we'll attack the back. Very nice. We'll go choking side. Kind of tough to tell when they don't got a melon. I totally understand. Perfect. We let them slide off the bottom hook, reset with the chair sit. Very nice. We'll take it back on the other side. There we go, perfect. Now we can throw the choke. Let's take that right leg, Professor, and bring it across the belly. Yeah, 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 there we go, yes. And this is what's gonna allow us, if we want, to start attacking the triangle from the back. Perfect. We'll work on it. I'm about to break class, Professor, and then we'll work on it, okay, my friend? I promise, that looks great. You're so close, you're doing fantastic. Nice job, Steven. Good work, my friends. We'll fix our geese, thank our partners, and stand up. Except Steve didn't cooperate. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Fix him. Fix him. Sorry, I named somebody. <laughs> our stuffy buddy ended up in two pieces. So. He's gonna need a little recovery from training today. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. I appreciate everyone training. We appreciate everybody sharing their Saturday morning with us. I really, really enjoy teaching that chain of attacks. Uh, man, it's only the A games, right? Like the, that series right there is where I wanna run everyone, right? Like there's the system I'm trying to guide you to the whole time because I, I know that all roads lead to the finish with the back triangle. It's just got to guide you there, right? I know you're going to do skillful things. I have to be able to accommodate them and keep moving forward with what I want to do, right? Like, uh, so most of you guys know, I fought professional MMA for a number of years. Uh, it was an incredible experience. It brought me to jiu-jitsu, which I really, really love. This, this, this has changed our lives. Jiu-jitsu is an incredible thing for us. There's a saying, for my MMA career that I really enjoyed and stuck with me for a long time. We used to tell each other, right, that coach would come up and tell you, like, man, you need to bite down on your mouthpiece and move forward, right? And that advice fits just living in general. I'm a big fan of life is just effort. You got to put in the work, right? That's, that's all it is. Sometimes you need to bite down on that mouthpiece you're prepared, you've got a mouthpiece, you're ready, you know what to do, and accept that you're gonna take some punches, right? But because you're prepared, because you're biting down that mouthpiece, those punches aren't enough to finish you, right? So that's the biggest thing I take away from that sentiment. Bite down that mouthpiece and move forward because when you're prepared and you're moving in the direction you should be, you're an unstoppable force, my friends, right? You're gonna take some shots, we all do. We keep moving forward.
So whether you're on the mats or off of them, I apply that mentality to all aspects of my life. So guys, thank you so much for training. Remember, we have a full schedule starting at six in the morning, all the way to seven o'clock at night. There's training every day. Please hang out with us when you can. Thank you so much for being here with us today. We'll go ahead and bow out. Thank you guys, my friends. If you want, please stick around. Let's chit chat. We'll turn everybody's mute off. Thank you again, man. We appreciate you guys so much. Thank you, Professor. Hey, good Thank work. You, Thank you. Thank you, Professor. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. That was so backwards. <laughs> Hey, great way to start the day. Good work, Quan. Thank you so much. Thank you for training. Hey, Professor, quick question for you. Yes, Kurt. Uh, so when you get to that triangle on the back, do you try if Beth doesn't try to escape, your opponent doesn't try to escape, do you try to scoot your hips back to tighten that triangle up? Yeah, that's a great point. Let's see. Um, I'm going to grab my stuffy Steve here for a second so we can see that, okay? Oh, yeah, appreciate it. All right. So I'll use Beth. Well, my dogs might attack her while I do it, so uh, <laughs> please be patient. You know what I mean? Just to get you Aww. in the So we're on the underhook side, right? We use our top leg to trap her arm. That way, you know. No. Go over a lot of stuff and get a groove to it. But I can also put some pressure on it. Take me out. I think. Why you see me so high right now is because we're talking. If yeah. I'm in this position in a competition or rolling, I keep 